Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission completion video. We have a real treat for you today. These guys are custom Imperial Guards for Kill Team, one of our clients sent in a great, great commission. Uh, these guys are Savlar Chem Dogs. If you're unfamiliar with them, you need to check out a bit of history from Armageddon. Uh, really, really tough, tough bunch of dudes. Um, so yeah, if you are you know, interested in that campaign, these guys are definitely something you should check out. Um, if you are new to Siege and you, this is the first time you're watching a video from Siege Studios on YouTube, then Siege is a UK-based complete service commission painting studio. We have 28 painters that all paint from an above tabletop level as a minimum all the way up to competition entry level. Uh, that's what we do as a business. If you are interested in a quote, then very simply head to our website where you can go directly to the contact form, complete the contact form and send that into us uh, to get a project started and quoted with us. Uh, we're going to come back in a second and have these awesome models in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So let's dive in and have a look at these awesome Savlar Chem Dogs. Now, the Savlar Chem Dogs are a Imperial Guard Astra Militarum regiment that predominantly uh, were involved with and have the majority of their history from the Armageddon campaign. Um, really cool uh, basic background to them. Essentially, they're like a penal legion, so they're all prisoners, convicts, murderers, all those kind of things. Uh, guys that haven't worked out in traditional Astra Militarum Imperial Guard regiments, and they uh, they get amalgamated on this penal sort of regiment there. And that's basically a bit about them. They steal equipment and gear. They're very ragtag, and uh, that's what our client really wanted on this project. Uh, and uh, just have to say this as a caveat: we didn't actually build and clean or convert these models. Our client has done these, uh, so all the converting everything you see um, has been done by our client and he's done an absolutely stellar job so hats off to our client for that uh, but all the painting and obviously everything that is actually physically see painted on the models has been completed by Ben one of the artists here at the team uh, let's dive in and have a look at them again they've been completely converted to custom by our client and they've uh, they've made up an amalgamation of different kits so you'll see various things obviously like all lock kits here for example uh, but then there's aspects of detail that are added on just from other other kits that you'll see as you see through the through the, through the video um, really cool first dude obviously he's got bright pink hair uh, really cool weapon there that's a converted weapon all the lenses and everything fully picked out as you can see the cape or tabard I really like because it's got various different it looks patchwork which is really really nice uh, so that's cool so that's just him uh, we've got the flamer toting dude here as well which is really really cool so that's just him they've all got these awesome sort of backpacks with the chevrons on them which is uh, lovely so that's just the flamer dude um, pull forward one of the plasma dudes so here you've got this guy with his awesome plasma gun pointing away with his goggles there and you know just saying that go and kill that uh, so that's just him uh, loads of grenades and pouches and things as you can see here lovely orange glow on the plasma as well something a little bit different um, we've got a generic dude here with a gun which is really really cool again he's got that backpack as well on as you can see but again all there is a bit looks a bit like Bane a little bit uh, and I'll talk about the rebreathers so they actually use a lot of chemicals uh, to sort of you know get them ready for combat uh, stims and things like that and that's why a lot of them have got them you've got the uh, melter gun toting guy here uh, about to blast someone into kingdom come so that's just him uh, which is really cool and I love the red casing on the weapons as well I think it really complements the tan and sort of grey sort of scheme quite nicely um, I've got another dude here just sort of bounding forward as well with his gun raised I love the chevron shoulder guard as well just to show that ragtag kind of scavenging kind of nature to the, the Savlar chem dogs again he's just sort of leaping over that rock there as you can see which is really nice We've got this awesome dude here. Uh, I do really like him. I'm going to get this to focus just so you can see. But he's uh, he's had a bad day. He's been fish hooked quite badly, and there's loads of blood dripping down his carapace armor there, as you can see. But uh, he's uh, he's not had the best day ever. So uh, so yeah, but all the faces, eyes, and teeth, and everything all picked out. Moving around, you've got the, the backpack there with all the sort of stowage and bits and bobs. Auto gun raised there as well, which is really nice, and a uh, very cult esque kind of blade as well. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, we've got this awesome dude here with uh, this plasma sort of weapon here on his backpack which is really cool so that's just that uh, raised with his auto pistol I do like the rebreather on him as well and all the eyes there as you can see fully picked out all the little, little spade and things as you can see the grenades and little knives and things all fully picked out and painted as well which is really nice we've got this awesome dude here that looks like he's got a sniper rifle uh, again rebreather lenses and goggles all fully painted uh, again moving around with a lovely integration with the base with a bit of dirtiness at the bottom of his sort of uh, cape there again moving around really really cool model uh, we've got the commander or the leader of the uh, of the unit as well here in his uh, big trench coat, power weapon and uh, nice revolver there as you can see, carapace armour. Uh, I believe our clients can be using these as scions so, uh, or, or stormtroopers so that's uh, why a lot of those parts have been used. 
but again here this is used for, this is this commission's to be used for kill teams as well as far as i'm aware um and you've got uh, this awesome dude here with a power maul plasma pistol again with that orange glow you've got all the attention to detail and all the aspects of the detail were fully picked out fully painted uh, really really cool again with a rebreather uh, another dude here just with a las gun which is really really nice so that's just him really cool shoulder guard on him you've got that backpack again with uh, all the little satchels and bits all fully painted and picked out so that's just this dude and then the back rank goggles as i like to call him here with, uh, with his uh his binoculars and also his goggles and his rebreather stowed his las gun you've got a nice sort of backpack there as well with all the weathering and chipping and rust on that sort of tank for his rebreather so that's just him uh, this really cool las gun wielding guy or hotshot las gun wielding guy with this shoved tubes which i absolutely love uh, so that's just him and again with his goggles and everything all painted there in lovely complementary green same with all the lenses with that complementary green color we've got another dude here bounding forward uh with the auto gun uh, or just las gun or whatever it's going to be used for so that's just him really really cool model with that rebreather and lovely lovely color scheme black casing on that gun as well just nice to shirt ragtag nature to the unit goggles mark two so but he's a, he's a bit poorly so he's got a bit of a hurt arm and uh he's obviously got a shotgun there as you can see but really, really cool model. Again, just bounding forward, even injured, he's still fighting on. Again, these are the hardest guard or Astra Militarum. And then the final dude here with the radio units, uh, again, in sort of like a mining armor, shall we say. And uh, also done with a black uh, back bit. And then on the on the radio, he's got the lovely sort of uh, static there on the uh, screen as well, which is really cool. A little bit of attention to detail that Ben's put in on this awesome model. Again, he's just probably calling in reinforcements uh, as well. So that's just him really cool commission lovely to work on some custom models again our client converted and made them all we can't take credit for that in the slightest he's done a stellar job on these and i do hope you love the paint job that we put on them for him uh so coming up next we'll talk a little bit more about these and also how to take out custom commission with us see you guys back in a second so thanks for checking the video out guys really appreciate it ever so much and i do hope you've liked these savlar chem dogs awesome awesome models and our client has got a great opportunity to choose between loads of different weapon options for his kill team games. Uh, if you are interested in a custom commission like these Savlar Chem Dogs, then all you need to do really simply is head to our website which is linked in the description of this video. Uh, go to that link, select all the drop down options on the contact form on our website that are relevant to your commission, include a list of models in our model list format which can be also found on there, fire that off to us to get the process started and get a quote back from us. Uh, also in the description can be found the links to all of our social media. So please, please do go check those out. Give us a like and follow respectively on Instagram, Twitter or Facebook. Uh, and while you're here on YouTube, a couple of things to really keep up to date with us. Hit the bell icon, obviously, so you can know when all of our videos get uploaded. Secondly, drop some comments below. What is your favourite Astra Militarum slash Imperial Guard regiment and why? Let us know in the comments. We'd really like to hear from you guys. And finally, give us a subscribe so you can keep up to date with every video that gets uploaded. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.